Howdy folks, Clean Water Systems going to present a short instructional video for us today on how to connect our tubing to the Precision 24 pump. Uh, we need to cut the tubing when we're going to get ready to do it and uh, hopefully you can see in the camera angle this one, I've got a beautiful nice clean cut on this end, very square, very straight, nice and neat. And then over here on this one, hopefully you can perceive once the camera focuses on it that it's pretty jagged. It looks like the razor blade to cut it with was dirty or something like that. Really important that you make a good, nice, clean cut. Uh, if you don't have a pipe cutter type of tool like this, then a brand new safety razor is what's going to work best. But uh, like I say, what you want to start by doing is cut the pipe very square and trim and flush. Then we're going to take because your length of pipe will be long, you're going to have the uh, thing assembled already. We have the connector and we have the collet ring sleeve right here. The collet ring sleeve has two sides or two, two uh, circles, sort of like a winner's platform. And the narrower end is going to be toward the front like this. So we're going to slip the first part, the connector nut, and then the sleeve on. And then we're going to take our cone, and we're going to start working our cone into the pipe hole. Whoop. Going to work it into the pipe hole. When you get it in there a little bit, find yourself a nice flat space push down, sorry that's kind of getting in the way, and push down. You'll have to do this repeatedly several times. Keep working it and pushing it and pushing it down. What we're trying to achieve is that we want no space. We don't want any space there. We want it all the way flush and it'll take working it down several times until the tubing is loosened up enough and then finally, it'll be all the way against the flat part where the cone barb is. When it gets like that, you're going to start feeding that up. And you're going to have this. And then you're going to take it over here. This is where you're going to be hooking it on for your top fitting. So here's the one that's already completed. I've already screwed it on, so now it's all, it's all squished down. I could do this one too. You take it down and you're going to tighten it on just like that. And then once it's on there, tug it a little bit. It doesn't want to come right out. It'll, it will come out if you pull really hard. You don't want to pull really hard. But just tug it, make sure it doesn't come out. And then once you do it, once you've got that, done obviously on all three connections the top the bottom the uh, degas return is a little bit easier to do it's quarter inch pipe and it's not as fussy so the uh, fitting just screws on hand tight there's no nylon through or no uh, Teflon tape or paste is needed there's uh, green O-rings on all these fittings. That's what's making the positive seal. And you get it hand tight. When the pump starts pumping, on the top end, you'll know that you're pumping because the pump, is, the tubing is going to shake in sympathy. It's going to move in sympathy with the stroke of the pump. Now, we want to get all of our connections the connection going down into the tank, the connection returning the degas valve, and the connection going over to the injection check valve. We want to get all those set up first, and then we can affix screws through the tank to position the uh, uh, pump and, and, and make the pump stationary on the tank. But you want to do that fit, you want to attach it last, not first, so that you can work on this. And that is how you make the connections on a Precision 24 pump. Thank you.